Academic science categorically denies the possibility of the existence in the past on our planet giant people. This information does not fit into the evolutionary theory, which believes that human growth in the course of evolution only increased. To accept the fact that modern humans have only recently coexisted with dwarfs and giants would be to overthrow seemingly unshakable foundations, thereby undermining the authority of scientific minds. But still, despite the strict censorship, reports of archaeological finds around the world related to the civilization of giants are increasingly breaking through. In recent years, without fear of scientific dogmas, there are scientists who have devoted themselves to the study of alternative history of the Earth. According to them, only 12 to 20,000 years ago, the Earth was inhabited by people giants, reaching a height of 20 meters or more. These giants were truly omnipotent. Incredible physical strength and highly developed intelligence made them legitimate rulers of our planet. Apparently, the most majestic buildings of antiquity, the pyramids of Egypt, the Great Sphinx, the statues of Easter Island, Baalbek, the statues of Bamiyan, Nanmadol, and many others, which mankind tends to ascribe to itself, are the works of the hands of giants. But everything in order. Helena Blavatsky, the world famous theosophist, writer, and traveler, for many years intensively studied the extant evidence concerning the giants. This gave her the opportunity to form a classification of existing chaos civilization, indigenous human races, the first race of angelic people, second race, ghost people, third race, the Lemurians, fourth race, Atlantis, fifth race, the Aryans, we are. As Blavatsky writes, the late Lemurians had a height of about 10 to 20 meters. Lemurian civilization existed for many millions of years and disappeared two to three millions years ago. The Atlantean race was also a highly developed race, but to a less extent than the Lemurians. Atlanta had a height of 5 to 6 meters, were similar in appearance to modern people. The bulk of the Atlanteans died during the flood 850,000 years ago, but some groups of Atlanteans survived to the period of 12,000 years ago. The Aryan race appeared in the depths of the Atlantic civilization about a million years ago. Aryans are called modern humans. Early Aryans had a higher of 3 to 4 meters, then the growth decreased. Direct evidence of the area of giants on Earth are both oral and written source that have come down to us from the immemorial. Many legends of the peoples of the world, as well as almost all known ancient texts – Bible, Koran, Torah, Vedas, Avesta, Edda, China's and Tibetan chronicles, Assyrian cuneiform tablets and Mayan writings contain information about the giant people. One of the clay tablets of ancient Babylon says that all the astronomical knowledge of the price of the Babylon state received from living in South Asia giants taller than 4 meters. And extant written messages of the ancient Egyptians directly tell that the first dynasty came from a race of giants who sailed by sea and brought with them a lot of knowledge, including those relating to the art of building pyramids. According to the Old Testament book of Genesis, the earth in prehistorical antediluvian times was inhabited by giants that coexisted with humanity. And in the book of the prophet Isaiah, there is a mention of how Jews were sent by sea to the people strong and vigorous, to the people terrible from the beginning and up to now, to the people growing and all trampling which the ass is killed by the rivers. In the ancient Indian Ramayana refers to the giants who opposed the legendary king Rama, the avatar of the supreme god Vishnu. One of them, the ape-like giant Hanuman, spoke out against his fellow humans. In Greek mythology, giants were born on earth from the blood of Uranus. The most famous of them was Ante, who was considered invulnerable. It was possible to kill it only having torn off from the earth, and only one Heracles managed to make this feat. 
At the same time, the giants and gods of the Greeks are related concepts. So Titan Prometheus taught people to use fire, and Cyclops taught them metallurgy. In this, there is a very detailed description of Buddha. From this description, called 60 Futures and 32 Characteristics of the Buddha, it is known that the Buddha had a huge growth, webs between the fingers and toes, 40 teeth, which corresponds to the description of the people of the civilization of the Atlanteans. Inca legends say that during the reign of the 12th Inca Asarco Cusco, from the ocean on a huge red raft arrived in the country men of great height. Even the tallest Indian could only reach his knees. The giant's hair fell over their shoulders and their faces were beardless. Some of them wore animal skins, others walked completely naked. Moving along the coast, they devastated the country, because each of them ate at a time more than 50 people called it. In the book of the Russian ethnographer and archaeologist Theodor Schwind, folk legends of the northwestern Ladoga area, collected in the summer of 1879, provides unique information about the giants of the ancient land of Karelia. On the Ladoga coast, writes so Sosvin, there is a legend that in this place lived great people, the so-called Metellilinens on Munkelinens. Metellilinens differ at enormous growth and incredible noise they made in their movement through the forest. According to the author, the existence of the Corellia giants has a lot of evidence. It's clear to forest fields and comes across in the land of huge human bones and abundant giant plows, as well as huge ramparts in the mountains and on the islands. Indeed, in addition to legends and myths, proof of the reality of these giants is a lot of material artifacts left on our planet. First of all, these are the prints of their huge feet. The most famous footprint was found in South Africa. It was found by a local farmer, Stoffel Ketsi, at the beginning of the last century. In the vertical wall, to a depth of about 12 cm, imprinted footprint of the left foot. Its length is 1 meter 28 cm. Obviously, a giant step into it when the rock was soft. Over time, it froze, turned into granite and stood upright due to geological process. In South Africa, in the province of Transvaal, in 1912, a farmer found one a rock trace of a giant human foot. Its size is 1.3 meters long and 76 centimeters wide. The footprint represents an exact copy of a person's left foot. The imprint is so clear that you can see even the dirt between fingers, as if the trace is left on the soft clay, hardened under the rays of the hot African sun. Russian professor of medicine Aaron Smudashev during an expedition to Syria in the town of Ain Dara in an ancient ruined temple found traces of giant men. The length of the giant's footprint was 90 cm, the width of the base of the fingers was 45 cm, the length of the thumb was 20 cm, the length of the little finger was 15 cm. According to calculation, people with such dimensions top had to have a growth of 6.5 to 10 meters. The giant tracks found by Professor Muldashev led his expedition to the giant's graves. One of the most significant finds in this series of the grave of Abel, the son of Adam and Eve, located near Damascus. A huge number of pilgrims from Arab countries came here to worship. The tombstone on the grave of Abel is a granite structure with a length of 5.8 meters and a width of 1.8 meters. This is what Ernst Muldashev himself says in an interview with the newspaper Arguments and Facts. Fortunately, they managed to visit Syria before the military conflict. Syria is an amazing country. There are 70 dead cities of the Atlanteans. There is also the grave of Abel, the son of Adam, guarded by the Alawites. It's believed that Abel died as a child and Adam had a height of 11 meters. In total, in Syria, mainly in the Aleppo region, we found seven graves of giants.
In addition to Syria, there is evidence of the remains of giants in almost every part of the world. Mexico, Peru, Tunisia, Pennsylvania, Texas, Philippines, Russia, Morocco, Australia, Spain, Armenia, Georgia, Southeast Asia, the islands of Oceania, etc. In 1890, in Egypt, archaeologists found a stone sarcophagus with a clay coffin inside, which were mummies two met a red-haired woman and baby. Futures and addition of mummies differed sharply from the ancient Egyptians. Similar mummies of a man and a woman with red hair were discovered in 1912 in Lovelock, Nevada, in a cave covered into the rock. Gross mummified woman in life was 2 meters and man about 3 meters. The skeleton of a 6 meter man was seen by Russian classical writers Turgenev and Korolenko when they came to Switzerland. According to their memories, in the museum of the city of Lucerna they were told that these huge bones were discovered in 1577 in a mountain cave by the Dr. Felix Platner. Johann Sanderson, a world-famous zoologist, once shared a curious story from a letter he received from a certain Alan Makshir. The author of the letter, in 1950, worked as a bulldozer on the construction of the road in Alaska and reported that the workers found in one of the burial hills two huge fossilized skulls, vertebra and leg bones. The height of the schools reached 58 centimeters and width of 30 centimeters. According to legends, during the flood, giants tried to hit into the mountains of the Caucasus. The remains of giants in the mountains were found repeatedly. In 2000, two tourists discovered a cave in the rocks of eastern Georgia, where the skeletons of four meters giants were preserved. Next to one of them was a stiletto made of unknown metal. It was the size of a huge ancient sword. Four-meter skeleton was found in Georgia near the village of Udabno. Quite large people, two and more meters tall, also inhabited some areas of Armenia. Pavel Avetisian, director of the Institute of Archaeology, claims that huge school and even entire skeletons of the ancient period were found on the territory of Gumri in the area of the Black Fortress. I was just taken aback, because probably the tomb of such a person will be thicker than my hand. I myself participated in the excavations and often met the remains of people who were much taller than me. Exactly, of course, the growth will not name, but more than two meters. In South Africa, in the area of the river Okavango, during the excavations of ancient settlements, were found unusually large axes and scrapers belonging to many meters of giants. A similar bronze axe is exhibited in the collection of the Historical Society of the USA. Its length is more than one meter, with half a meter and weight 150 kilograms. The age of the axe is estimated at 49 million years. But the drawings on the Inca stones, found in Peru and collected in the Museum of Javir, show that people lived with dinosaurs. Scientists believe that dinosaurs disappeared more than 100 million years ago. Comparing these drawings on stones, it's possible to find this surprising fact. The person and the dinosaurs have approximately similar proportions. This fact directly indicates that the people who lived during the dinosaurs were giants. There are a number of writing sources that directly indicate that the giants on Earth existed recently. The first Europeans who reached the territory of the modern United States faced with the aboriginal tribes of the giant growth, which they also called Indians, who lived in different parts of the country, in the southeast and southwest, on the shores of the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific Ocean. It's possible to assume that by this time many giants assimilated with the Indian population. Their growth did not exceed 2.5 meters and was less than the growth of the older giants. Back in 1520, Magellan's ship stopped off the coast of Patagonia, modern Argentina. The Italian chronicle of Magellan, Antonio Pigafet, who kept a diary of the expedition, on this occasion made the following entry. Suddenly we saw on the shore of a giant almost naked. He jumped and sank and threw sand and earth on his head. 
The captain sent one of his subordinates there and ordered him to jump and sink as well, so that Aborigine would calm down and be sure of our friendliness. Moving quickly and dancing all the time, the sailor led the giant to the place where the captain was waiting for him. When he saw us, he was terrified and surprised. Believing that we came down from the sky, he kept pointing up. It was a giant, so in the most representative of us reached him only to the waist. In addition, he was well built with a very large face, colored with the red paint. After this meeting, this part of the continent was called Patagonia, and the inhabitants of the giants were called Patagonians, which means big feet. Spanish conquistadors not only saw the giants themselves, but sometimes fought with them. Alvaro Fernandez described his numerous meetings with the giants by the natives. According to him, the tallest of the Spanish barely reached the giant's chest even when the aborigine was in a sitting position. A drawing of one such giant was even placed on a map of South America in 1602. In addition to legends, tools and the remains of giants, there is a number of evidence confirming the existence of giants. Megalithic structure of enormous size, we can find them on different continents. Of particular interest to scientists is the Lebanese city of Baalbek, which is now almost destroyed. However, even what is left gives an idea of the scale of the buildings, next to which the Athenian Parthenon would like a child's toy. Researchers still cannot explain scientifically the appearance the perfectly fitted to each was a stone, slab weighing presumably up to 800 tons each. According to Arab legend, Baalbek belonged to Nimrod, who once reigned in this part of Lebanon. In a rubric manuscript found in the ruins of the city says that Nimrod sent giants to restore Baalbek after the flood. And the patriarch of the Maronid community of Lebanon, Estefan de Veigi, brought a fragment of a legend which says that the city was built by Adam's son Cain to hide from the divine wrath. He calls in the date of the foundation of Baalbek, 133 years from world creation. Cain settled giants in the city, which later suffered punishment flood from God for their iniquities. There is also a hypothesis that Baalbek was built or restored by the Egyptians. This opinion is shared in particular by historian Elau. He writes that the Egyptian temple in Baalget, the ancient name of Baalbek, was restored by Egyptian priests after the earthquake during the conquest of Syria by Egypt. However, based on all the same legends, we can make a confident conclusion that Baalbek holds an Egyptian civilization. So, the Egyptian code will be the disciples of those who built it. Rich in artifacts associated with the giants, the cultural capital of Russia, the city of St. Petersburg. This 40-ton king bus. Then the Alexander Colium, a giant monument almost 50 meters higher and weighing more than 600 tons. And even St. Isaac's Cathedral, which if you cut off the superstructure made by people, is an exact copy of the Mayan pyramids and much more. As for Egyptian, and not only Egyptian pyramids, whose total number throughout the years reach more than 600, the fact that the pyramids served at the tombs of the pharaohs does not mean that they are built by slaves of the ancient Egypts, as it presents the official history of the world. This conclusion was reached by archaeologists, periodically digging in many parts of the world the remains of giant people, who, according to the researchers, are the creators of the first of the seven wonders of the world. We still do not know for what purpose the pyramids were created. Maybe they served as a kind of channels of communication of ancient men with the cosmos. Whom the Egyptians believed the mysterious builders of the pyramids, we can only guess. The civilizations that appeared on the banks of the Nile probably saw in them the most high gods, worshipped them and therefore used the sacred pyramids as tombs for its supreme rulers.
But still, how could such giants live on our planet? Because official science assures that with the existing atmospheric pressure, oxygen level, gravity and other nuances, people with a growth of more than 3 meters simply would not have survived for purely biological reasons. As proof of this, scientists cite the example of people suffering from gigantism, which is more than 40 years, as a rule, do not live. There are several hypotheses about how the giants that once inhabited our planet disappeared from its surface, leaving us around the world material evidence of its existence. Most likely, in the distant past, the conditions on Earth were different, including the force of attraction was lower and the oxygen levels was higher by about 50%. The last feature is confirmed by the analysis of air bubbles locked in amber. Moreover, modern physicists have simulated conditions in which the force of gravity has become an order of magnitude lower than it's now. The conclusions are weak gravity, low atmospheric pressure and higher content of oxygen in the air contribute gigantinasia species. And at a time when the composition of the atmosphere, the climatic conditions of the planet and its gravity began to change, possibly as a result of a global catastrophe, the condition created were unacceptable for the life of giants and led to their deaths. Or they simply have left our planet, having departed to distant stars.